grabbed coffee and breakfast. This has kind of been our routine since we've been in Tennessee, kind of. I laugh at routine because it's so different every single day. Once we checked into the hotel, this one decided he did not want to take his first nap. And so this is my attempt to get him down, but he think he's, he's looking a little sleepy. About to head up to the room. I'm sorry, it's so loud out here. Um, and it's really chilly, but in the middle of the day, it'll be so warm. So I'm sure some outfit changes will occur here in a bit, but we'll give y'all a little room tour. It looks like an explosion because traveling for a month is a little bit crazy. <laughs> Got the hands full, yes, for sure. I am, yeah, thank you. A little update. Drop the food off in the room. And we are just walking around the hotel, trying to get him down for his first nap because he's getting very close. The thing that I always say is if he will actually rest his head on my chest, then I know he's getting close to nap. So he's getting very close. You can see his little eyes drifting. But anyways, we're gonna be vlogging throughout the day. We have some fun plans. I'm meeting up with some girlfriends from college as well. We're just gonna take y'all along. And first and foremost, welcome back to our channel. All right, my baby. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's five months old today, y'all. Time is flying. It's wild. Okay. We'll see y'all in the hotel room after nap time. Okay. <clears throat> Chad has entered the vlog, number one. And number two, we have great news for you. Tori has allowed me, from my constant begging and pleading, she's allowed me to give you all, babe, don't clean up. You can't clean up right now. No. <laughs> she's allowed me to give you all a room tour with the room looking like something happened. Like this looks like a crime scene. I don't know what's happening. It just looks like. Is that my happy it just boy? Looks like a bomb went off. Is that my happy boy? Guys, that's yeah. On a month long road trip, okay. I'm gonna do a quick three minute or less tour, showing you guys the place. I enjoy showing some of the real life stuff because everyone wants to put their best foot forward. But we'll give you guys just a quick tour. I'm gonna point some stuff out. You're gonna have the Chad point of view, all six foot one, almost six foot two version of me. I'm humble, six foot one, and. Get ready to go. Okay, this is a toy that we bought Micah because he learned to love it. This is the sweetest little stuff that Jess had made for our Easter celebration over at their house with friends. Leftover Chick-fil-A, leftover almost undrunk Coca-Cola, empty coffee, empty food bin. That was a, honestly great pasta, right? Fantastic pasta. Fantastic pasta. Crack corn, we have unopened. We have a microwave, we have a fridge down here. And we had this cute little photo that we made. Um, we made it at Justin Gabe's house. Apparently it was a really like a big TikTok trend or something yeah, like that. TikTok and reels. Anyways, it's super quick and easy to do with your printer. Doesn't it look like fresh. Micah is doing the, the, um, the, ET? the yeah. not ET, the, what's what it, that? what's the thing? What's the thing? What's the thing? What Star Trek. Star, Star, Star Trek? Yeah. Resistance is futile. Anyways, okay, moving forward. Now we have Tori's suitcase, which is looking mighty fine. Okay. Let me just say, Tell I them. feel like the suitcases that open up like this versus the ones that just open up with the one thing, they always end up looking like this. Yes. Like it's so hard to keep them looking organized in any sort of way. Someone looks disappointed in you. Look at that woman, look how she's looking. So. From there, we have the stroller. We have Micah's section right here. This is his suitcase, all his bottle stuff, all the everything. Babe, you got new shoes. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm actually so Go excited. ahead and grab them out. I'm gonna keep showing them. This is the unesthetic toy that we bought Micah. You guys will be proud. We are giving him color. So not, not just a sad beige baby anymore. Speaking of color. And so, Tori's gonna show you her color in a minute. This is the equipment bag where we put all of our podcast set up, which is just a total mess. Look at that. Oh Lord. We have our camera set up, which is so funny. Can I just laugh with you guys for a sec? So, Tori and I record the podcast right here. So we do the podcast and we sit right here, but then the house little hotel room cleaning comes in 
and they see the camera pointed at the bed, and I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's a Christian it's devotional, a devotional it's not, it's like, Moving on. Moving okay, on. want to show Back them your shoes? shoes? Okay, first and foremost, it was a must because y'all didn't know my name is actually Victoria. Yep. Let's go by Tori. Um, look at these colorful shoes. These are a lot of fun. These I are a whole lot of fun. So fun. Yeah. They're like literally Easter and spring in a yeah. shoe. Very excited. I feel like I'm gonna incorporate some more color into my wardrobe, you guys. I Good. I feel like it's happening. It's happening. It's happening naturally, which is the most important thing. We have a beautiful window right here. It's kind of hard to see, obviously. Wait, I forgot to show them. It literally says my name on the shoe. I don't know if they can see that, but it's not focused. I don't know how to focus it, babe. Remember, Anyways. we're not vloggers. We're, we don't vlog. We have Micah's little pack and play right here where we're trying to create a little uh, light canceling situation over there. We have some dirty clothes by me. If you guys remember from the honeymoon video, I have to unpack. And while this looks like I didn't unpack because all these clothes are here, it's because I got duped. The second drawer right here is actually a safe. And so I didn't have enough space, but that it is what it is. Babe, this is turned into a long tour. I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up. Okay, this section is hilarious. We have hats, clothes, computer, leftover food, a tie to go pin because Micah tried to ruin his outfit. We have wipes. The hard drive, which holds all of our devotional podcasts on, praise God. Micah's bottle station, and then the bathroom, which... We don't want to touch that. Yeah, we're not going to touch that. Anyways, that was record timing. Praise God. Everyone everyone, say thanks to Tori for allowing us to see the real life room. Yeah. Yay. So, okay. So, as I told y'all earlier, Tennessee is very funny, and this morning was frigid, but now it's like... 70 degrees. So I'm gonna do a little clothing haul because I got some very, very cute things from Thread Up that I want to show you guys. So I'm gonna get Micah. Oh! <laughs> I think I turned it right after he yeah. sneezed all over Tori. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get Micah. Tori's gonna do a little try on haul to show you guys what she got from Thread Up. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna mm -hmm. vlog today. Aww. I'm just gonna set up the camera. <laughs> well, I lied. So we are on a little walk right now. We saw some tired cues, which a lot of us adults need to notice too. If you start yawning, you start rubbing your eyes, don't just drink a coffee. Don't just drink a Red Bull or whatever. Make sure you're getting the sleep you need. This is from Papa Chad, okay? I didn't say daddy. Can you see the daddy? He thought I was going to. It's from Papa Chad. And then uh, I need to create a whole thing. Like you guys that ever watch Modern Family with Phil, like Phil has philosophies, like a book. And so, anyways, I may create something like that. I'm just gonna get Micah to sleep, then we'll head back upstairs to go see, go see Mama, right, Bubba? We go sleep time. Sorry, you guys had to hear that. Okay. I am going to preface this little thread up haul with the fact that I was very much in the mood for mom shorts. So, first up are these little cuties from J. Crew. I love that they are like a two toned cream and I can wear them with just a little sweater and be kind of athletic, cozy leisure, um, especially when it's like slightly warm outside. They're just really comfortable, especially because I knew we'd be traveling a ton. So this is something that I like to put on to feel like, oh, I kind of feel put together, like I have an outfit on, but also I'm as cozy as I would be in PJs. And as always for Thread Up Hauls, I love showing you guys what it would have cost me and what I actually got it for. So I'll make sure to it up here for you guys okay next little outfit I got was these shorts originally from Zara they're in a cute little like almost like a dark sage and I don't know I feel like they're sweat shorts but you can make them into a cute little outfit like I wore this yesterday and we walked around downtown went to a park and I just feel like it's a cute little easy mom look but obviously you don't have to be a mom to wear it. But for me, it was just like, okay, 
I still feel comfortable. I don't feel like I have to like constantly pull my shorts down because they're a good length. They're high waisted and I love them. Next up, these might be one of my favorites. These are little shorts actually from Aster the Label, which is one of my favorite brands. I love Aster the Label. I also found a little dress. I'll try it on in a second for you guys. But anyways, I just searched Aster the Label on there, not knowing that ThreadUp like had anything from there and found these super cute little shorts. They're like a waffle material and I don't know, they kind of like flare out a little bit, which feels girly. And I put them on with my little new kicks, which was kind of my vision for these shoes to kind of like have a creamy white outfit on and then just like a little pop of color. We're moving into color subtly, you guys, okay? Subtly. These actually literally had the tag on them when I got them too, so love that about thread up. Okay, last but not least in the little mom short department. I actually wore these in the last vlog we did and got a lot of questions. They are also from Zara, but thread up find, and they're like these little corduroy shorts, but high-waisted and awesome length. Um, I paired them with some loafers and a little silk top to make it feel a little bit more dressy, but in the last vlog, I had them on with a white t-shirt and white tennis shoes. So I just feel like I like the versatility, especially on this road trip where I need to have like staple pieces that I can wear in a bunch of different ways. So these have been an absolute gem. Last, but certainly not least, Probably my favorite is this little spring dress from Aster the Label. It has these cute little sleeves. It also has, if you can see these little lemons as the print, I think it's so cute. Um, ThreadUp is actually celebrating Earth Month as well and they shared this stat with me that I thought was crazy. But every time you wear secondhand, you save enough water for 72 matcha lattes which speaking of i feel like now i want a matcha latte maybe this afternoon since i just finished my coffee but also they gave me an even better discount for you guys this month instead of 30 percent off it is 35 percent off if you use code tori so i'll have that link below if you want to shop my picks and shop secondhand y'all i'm telling you i have found some of my favorite items in my wardrobe on thread up so do not sleep on this Check out the link below. Again, it's code Tori. It will get you 35% off. Okay, now I'm actually gonna put one of those looks on for the day. And so this is the look I went for today. It's the little Astro shorts, the white, and my new kicks, my mama hat. Um, I also forgot to show you guys this. I laid it out, but I feel kind of awkward just trying a swimsuit on, to be honest. But I got this really cute, little springtime one piece it has like a lower back it is from yeah j crew reimagined inspired by the planet and its people so very cute i will also put the price reduction here because it is like a very high quality swimsuit and i just think it is so precious so anyways thank you again thread up for sponsoring this portion of the video love all my picks <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I got so many things. I also got these really cute like faux leather, like cream kind of like cargo pants, which I think are very cute too. So thread up for the win as always. Look, tags on them, tags on them. These are from Abercrombie and Fitch. So anyways, Chad is, I think just walking around outside the hotel with Micah. Um, he's down for another little nap. I'm sure I've shared this on this channel, but he has been, He's like the king of 30 minute naps. Like he just does 30 minute naps, 30 minute naps. But his sleep has been getting slowly but surely better. We are down to one nighttime feeding anywhere in between like 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., which is a huge game changer because when we started this trip, we were at like four. Right before we left for the trip, he was doing better, like he had gotten in a better sleep rhythm where it was only like two feedings a night and I felt like a new person. But then those of you who've traveled with baby, you know, like traveling just throws them off. They're in a new environment, the routine's a little different, you're doing different things to soothe them to sleep. So I feel like the first night or two, 
at every place we've been to on this trip have been pretty rough, which I mean, I can't blame the boy. Like everything is new. Like I even feel like as a wife, I don't sleep as well when Chad's gone. And so you just gotta give your little baby grace because new environment, new place, new smells, like all the things. Um, but to be honest, it got real brutal once we like got to the hotel. And I think it's because there's no like separation, like everywhere we've stayed before, there's been a little bit more separation. So I feel like he can't like smell me. He's like in his own space. Um, to the point where we like almost cut the trip short and like flew Mike and I back home um, because we were like, is this just too much? And then prayed about it. And literally the next day he did so well and then slept so great last night. So honestly, it's still up in the air if we're gonna like stay for the entirety of the trip like we are planning to or not. So we'll keep y'all posted on that. But it's been like real, real. Traveling with baby is just different than before. And so Chad and I are just trying to give our whole little fam grace. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna check on Chad. Um, I always try to time my outings because Micah does sleep really well in the car with like where I'm going to meet my girlfriends is about 30 minutes away. So I like, I'm gonna try to time like, oh, 10:45 now I have to be there at 12:30. so when he wakes up from this nap we'll give him some food have some play time etc and then his next nap will be um when we're on the way there does it always work out perfectly no 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 but are we trying yes we're trying we're an elevator and so we try to distract him because it's interesting you want to jump on the count of three one no i'm kidding we're not doing that that's dangerous Anyways, they're gonna get ready to go see some friends. I'm gonna help them load up the car. Then I'm gonna get some work done. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> I love it. The staff here loves Micah. It's very, very cute. Very, very cute. Bye, Bubba. Is it like 30 minutes ago that you said? Bye, Mama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's awfully close in that face. Love you. Okay, y'all have fun. Please be safe. Seatbelts. Remember when I mentioned earlier trying to time his naps when we're in the car? Well. But anyways, that was so much fun. Um, my girlfriends, Jenny and Gabby, we all danced together in college um, at Florida State. We were Golden Girls, so that was so much fun. I haven't seen Gabby literally since college, which was a hot second ago. So, so much fun. Jenny, if I haven't shared this with you guys on this vlog, her baby girl and Micah actually had the same due date, which is so fun. Um, and so she was born two days after Micah, but she is a little peanut. She's so cute, so sweet. So anyways, that was a blast. And headed back home, we're gonna record a podcast. Micah's gonna get to see Deja. It's gonna be good after me. Okay. Y'all just staying watching golf stuff. Sweet Micah is playing. Are you playing? Like a big boy? I know it's crazy. Oh, buddy! Are you a big boy? Head shoulders, knees and toes. 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 Head shoul
Holiday sneezing toast. Yay. We're gonna get copyright strike from that song. I'm oh, just teasing. Honestly, <laughs> Fisher it, Price comes after us. Yeah, seriously. Even though that one kid, that little kid with the YouTube channel that reviews toys, what a business they've built. So Tori and Micah got home and he's being ultra cute. Tori's catching up on a few texts and stuff like that. We are gonna do a podcast. It's kind of gloomy out. Let me see if you guys can see this. This is the view outside the window. It looks gloomier in person than the camera. I think the camera is doing a lot of adjustments. So I think we're gonna do a podcast, upload it to our editor, Jared, and then just enjoy the rest of the afternoon like what Tori said. So we might bring you guys along. We might. If we do, <laughs> then enjoy the ride. Well, it's the next day, everyone. Micah and me are going to go grab a bunch of juices and a bunch of breakfast stuff for sweet tea as she woke up feeling sick, which is a huge bummer. We're knocking on the weekend's door. And so I know she was so excited to go to church and go see friends and everything. Tori really experiences the presence of God through like community worship and um, you know in so many other ways too but we have not been able to go to church since we've had him and last week Easter didn't work out Micah woke up on the wrong side of the crib and uh, I know she's been so deeply looking forward to this and I just took some time to try to encourage her this morning and I want to encourage you all with it as well even if we don't get our way right now to not let our immediate desires out. Oh, he's falling asleep. Oh, he's so close. Sorry, if you guys know, you know, if you saw earlier in the video. Good job, Bubba. I'll be right back. Okay, mission complete. Cured the bag. I don't know where I was at, but it's just, essentially, I just want to encourage you all that there's so many times that so many of us don't get our way. We feel like our expectations for life don't meet our experience in life. And that sucks. Honestly, it just sucks. It, it's not fun for anybody. And I'm not saying just get over it. But what I am saying is I want to encourage you all that we as believers have a hope for the eternal, a hope for the future where we don't have to maximize our experiences here on earth because we have hope for the eternal. And so that doesn't mean that we aren't bummed or feel let down, etc. but it gives us a hope in those hardships. And so, yeah, I just wanna encourage you all that I know a lot of us are then maybe let down on certain situations. But yeah, I just know so many of us can feel bummed about, about the way life is going sometimes. Uh, I mean, because literally the reason why we came up to Tennessee was to get time with community and it just hasn't been able to work out quite the way that we had wanted. And yeah, that's not the best. However, we do have a hope for the eternal and we don't need to spend our time here on earth trying to maximize our happiness, but rather we can use our life pursuing what God has for us and just looking forward to the future with him, doing life with him where heaven is not this goal it's this it's a person it's an experience and so that experience will far outshadow any of the negative side of things that we experience here on earth but anyways i'm going to get back up with tori and i go pick up some coffees and close out this vlog but just wanted to give you all a little bit of encouragement we love you guys so much thanks for being on this journey with us if you're new here i'm chad this is micah sweet tea sweet tori Hopefully he's gonna start feeling better a little bit later today. I'll see you all day. Okay, well. Hi fam. Tori's feeling, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling okay. um, 40% better than I did this morning. Well hey, that's 40% better than I thought you were gonna be feeling. Yeah, definitely a bummer. It's just like I've been sick twice since we've been here, so yeah. it's just not ideal, yeah. but Anyways, thanks for watching this vlog. If you guys are looking for the best online thrifting ever, check out ThreadUp. Tori's discount code is Tori for 35% off. We're gonna do a few more vlogs as we get ready to head back home. Yep. And then we'll be back into our regularly how do you scheduled programming. Yeah, which has not been regularly scheduled since he came along. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're working try. on it, okay? We're gonna actually try. We're working on it. Yeah. We're, we're doing working. our best. We are doing our best. Yeah, right? Yeah. Are you doing your best? Because that's the best you can do. 
Why is that so deep? Why does it make me want to cry? Let's go. Okay, we love you guys. Love you guys. Do See you do, the next do, video. do 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 do